Femi Oyebode. I'm professor of psychiatry at the University of Birmingham and I'm also a consultant psychiatrist at the National Centre for Mental Health in Birmingham. This course is on anxiety and anxiety related conditions. In this module I'm going to be talking about emotions and the nature of emotions and this is necessary and, and important because in order to understand the nature of anxiety we need to place it in the context of what emotions are and how anxiety relates to other kinds of emotions. So the first question is what are emotions? And the answer to that question uh, put very simply is emotions are the positive or negative experiences that human beings have in relation to different contexts. Uh, and what we mean by positive and negative are whether people feel happy or whether they feel angry or whether they feel sad in relation to particular social events that are occurring around them. It is said that there are probably six basic emotions and a researcher called Ekman confirmed that these basic emotions are recognizable by all human beings wherever they live on, on the planet. So these basic emotions include sadness, happiness, anger, surprise, disgust, fear, and you can see straight away that these are emotions that we all recognize because all of us have experienced them. And one of the interesting things about basic emotions is that the facial displays of these emotions are recognized across the planet irrespective of, of culture. So if you were to see somebody's face when they're happy, then practically all human beings will recognize that this is true, that this is a, a display of happiness. Or if you saw somebody who looked sad, we would all recognize that this is in, indeed a display of, of sadness. And the same would be said for fear and, 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 and surprise and, and disgust. So that's the display of basic emotions. Now, the, there's been a lot of discussion about how we come to know in experience that we are going through, how we come to recognize and to label these emotions that we all recognize in ourselves. Um, and this is not the subject of today's course. So I'm not going to say very much about about that matter, that I think is a, is, a, is a subject in its own right for another, another course. So what I want to do is then to say something about how the, what are the component parts of emotions in general. Um, and, and again, these are, you, you could say that these ideas are commonsensical. So, so there's this subjective experience that we all know about. Uh, and, and then there are the ways in which the body itself, the physiology of the body, uh, codes for these experiences. And thirdly and lastly, the ways in which we display, which I've already said a little bit about the way in which we display or behave when we're going through these experiences. So if we take um, fear for an example, so we have an experience of fear, and when we have that experience, we may also recognize that we feel uh, uh, our hearts pounding, we may recognize that we find that our mouth is dry, we may discover that we feel as if we might faint, uh, and so that's the physiological response that we have. The, uh, technically speaking, people will say the autonomic nervous system response that we have in relation to the subjective experience of fear. And then the, the display would be the look that we have on, on our faces, the ways in which our body, uh, the demeanor that we carry as human beings when we're fearful, and, and that demeanor might in, include the readiness to run or the readiness to defend oneself or to fight and, and so on. So, so you can see very straightforwardly that these three component parts, even though they're disparate, they are of course unified in the individual when they come to experience whatever emotion it is that they are going through. So that's essentially just talking in very general terms about the nature of emotions.